What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about augmented reality on iOS 11 and the brand new iPhone. So if you're not up to speed with augmented reality and AR kit, which was announced at WWDC this year, the easiest point of reference would probably be Pokemon Go. Just because that app was huge and people went crazy about it and it had that augmented reality feature built right into the game. So augmented reality is exactly what it says it is. It describes itself. So it's basically reality, and you're augmenting it by putting something in it. So for instance, for Pokemon Go, you're putting these Pokemon in the real world and when you look at your phone and you move your phone around, you can see that the Pokemon is literally in one single space and if you move your phone, you can't see it. But if you move it back, it's right there. Now sure, Pokemon Go was pretty cool at the time. For a very short amount of time, Pokemon Go was cool. But what I wanna show you in this video is all of the developers doing all kinds of really awesome stuff with augmented reality and AR kit in iOS 11. So I think that augmented reality is going to be insanely big, a whole lot bigger than a lot of people think it's going to be. Just because I don't think a lot of people are talking a lot about AR kit and augmented reality in iOS 11. Now I know that Apple didn't invent augmented reality or anything like that, but Apple has a thing where once they bring something to market, that's when it really hits home and people actually start to adopt that type of technology. And it's just something that happens, right? Apple didn't really invent a whole lot of stuff. Most of the things that they come to market with, they didn't invent, but they do it right for the most part. But in this video, I have the top 25 augmented reality demos that developers are creating right now in iOS 11. And this is to show you what can happen with iOS 11 and using AR kit. Honestly, there's just a ton of stuff that you don't even realize would be helpful until you see these developers creating something that you think, wow, I could actually use that pretty often. Now, not only useful stuff, but fun stuff as well, like games or just 3D modeling where you're tinkering with stuff and moving stuff around. But some of these demos are just pretty insane and I felt like I should share them with you guys because I think they're awesome and I think you guys are gonna like them too. So let's get started. So first up is this BB-8 model. So this 3D model you can see right here, and this is from Star Wars if you guys aren't familiar. The tracking on it looks really good. The physics of the brakes when he's like stopping and going and moving around, it just looks really fluid. And this is just some of the basic stuff that you can do. Next is a 3D solar system. So you're sitting here walking around so you can visit Jupiter, Neptune, the moon, the sun, basically any planet that you want to and you can just walk around and take a look at these things while they're suspended in midair. And apps like this are what make me start to think of the educational value of augmented reality and being able to you know move around in 3d space and go to these certain locations take a look at them and have the entire learning experience be more interactive this next one is one of my favorite ones this is really really awesome and it's showcasing how you can use sound in 3d space using augmented reality so just to preface this he's just walking around with his device and he's talking and then when he talks it makes an audio wave in 3D space that you can see on the device and then you can walk back through it in order to hear that audio back again. So go ahead and take a look at this. This is a test of talking and seeing what happens when we record audio in space. This is a test of talking and what happens when we record audio in space. Now that's pretty sweet. You also have really simple gaming apps where you can play tic-tac-toe on the ground or on your table or on your countertop, basically anywhere where there's a flat surface, you can play tic-tac-toe. And this one's pretty cool too, where he uses a blowtorch to cut through the steel and then the steel door that he cuts out and then it opens up into a whole new world. Now, this would be one of those funny things if you actually had a headset on, if you tried to walk through that, you're definitely gonna walk straight into the wall. Here's another game-like demo where you're just this little gecko running around and you can see the, see the real-time physics where blocks are falling and moving around and you're going through these caves and all kinds of stuff. So again, augmented reality is gonna be pretty big when it comes to gaming. And here's a game we all know and love, Pac-Man. And this next one is one of those really useful tools that I was talking about. So you can see right here that you can actually measure things using AR and just your device. So all you do is point it at a point, tap a button, and then it puts a dot there. And then you can drag a line to another specific point, tap it, and it's going to measure that distance. So this is all done with a straight white line as you can see right here, but there's also one that has an actual ruler that you can see or a tape measure just running across right here. And this one actually came out closer to when AR kit was announced 
So it's possible you've already seen this one before for sure, but still the concept is really cool. Now, before seeing this, this is something that I never would have thought of uh, using AR4. So once I see things like this, I'm like, wow, that actually makes a whole lot of sense. But I guess that's probably why I'm not a developer. Now this next gaming app looks pretty similar to what Apple actually showcased at WWDC. So it's basically this entire tabletop with an entire terrain and you have armies where they're fighting against each other. And the graphics look pretty good for, you know, in as early stages as we see right here. And I think it would be pretty fun to play this game with a couple of friends. So this next demo shows a Tesla and showing how you can change colors, you can move the car around. So this is gonna be good for visualizing something without actually having it. So not only just for cars, if you're car shopping, but for anything. I mean, you could do furniture in a brand new apartment that you just moved into or a brand new house. You know, if you're trying to decorate or anything like that. So you can see that here in this next demo, you just decide on the type of furniture, you move it around, you rearrange it, you change the color, all kinds of stuff. That way you can actually visualize and have the right dimensions of these specific couches and tables, just so you know that they fit in that particular space. This one's kind of interesting just because you're basically going into a location. Let's say it's just a, you know, department store with furniture and you're dropping these pillows off. So what if you made an application where you're actually dropping things off in specific locations that you can only see while you're inside the app? So I'm just envisioning something like a treasure hunt game or even brands like advertising things in specific locations or specific department stores in particular apps. I really just think we've scratched the surface on this whole AR thing and it could potentially change the way we use our devices. Now this one I thought was really awesome. This is a 3D model of a zombie and you basically can scale it to whatever size you want to. You can put it on any flat surface. You can put it on the ground. You can put it on a countertop. You can make it, you know, six inches tall or you can make it six feet tall. And what this zombie is doing is tracking you. So it's walking directly at you in a zombie like state. So you could have like an entire haunted house built inside of a phone that you just walk through with your goggles on and zombies pop out or something. I don't know. That might be an absolutely terrible idea, but if there was one nearby, I'd go to it. Now I thought this next one was really cool because of how accurate it is. So you can see what this is doing is just changing the color of someone's hair. And if you look closely, it is very, very accurate. There's a ton of different colors to choose from. And right now in this app, you can only do colors, but it wouldn't surprise me if sometime in the future, you're able to actually just, you know, completely change the haircut, which is something that's, you know, been around for a while. But I think with this type of technology and this type of accuracy, it's just gonna elevate to a whole new level. Plus I've always wanted to know what I look like with a purple beard, so. This one is sick. It is just a portal in the middle of the street that you're looking at through your phone, you can walk around it or you can go straight through it. And when you go through it, it takes you to an entire different world that you see all around you. I think it's just crazy how all this stuff works and I'm like nerding out over it. So I hope you guys think this is as cool as I think it is. But with the new iPhone coming out with a brand new CPU, better graphics performance, cause you know they're gonna update metal. It's gonna look a whole lot better than what we're showcasing here. This is stuff that's not finished whatsoever. This is just demos. This is people like testing things. Once we start seeing finalized products, I think this stuff is gonna be pretty insane. Who doesn't like Minecraft? Everybody likes Minecraft. I played Minecraft for a little while. I actually couldn't get into it that much, but a ton of people like Minecraft. And this demo shows you that you can play Minecraft in your kitchen, in your living room, on your bed, your floor, your table, your couch, basically anywhere. You can start to build stuff like you can in Minecraft right wherever you are. And if Minecraft isn't big enough already, that's just gonna make it even bigger. And here you can see a really cool naval battle game where you just have these boats floating around on this blue floor where they're just shooting each other. Now, I don't know if this is a simulation or if you're actually controlling these boats, but still, it's just showing you these different types of games that can take advantage of this AR technology. You wanna see a spaceship land on the moon? We got you covered, check it out. You wanna take a look around a 3D modeled plane and even look inside into the interior of the cockpit? We can do that too. You wanna drive a 3D model car in the actual streets around real cars? No problem. How about revolutionizing the way that we order food at a restaurant? Rather than having you know laminated menus that we normally get at restaurants, you can open up an app and you can select different entrees and it's going to show you those entrees right there in 3D space so you can take a look at it, you can see what's on it, you can see what it's gonna look like and then you can order it directly inside the app. Here's even a first person shooter that you can play that turns your phone into a gun and it even puts you know a helmet on the other player's head so you can shoot at each other. Now, like I said, the graphics aren't great in this particular situation right now, but the more we advance in this AR technology, the cooler this stuff is gonna get. How about landing a Falcon 9 inside your pool? 
I mean, check this out. This is awesome. And check this out. This is creepy. This is a robot dancing in somebody's living room. Now, the thing that's creepy about it is that it looks so real because there's like no drop frames. It's so fluid. That could terrify somebody. I'm not gonna be downloading any dancing robot apps, that's for sure. So right now there's just a plethora of AR demos. And for iOS, this is only in its infancy. I'm gonna be really, really excited to see where AR takes us a year down the road. I think it's definitely something to look forward to. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything Apple or any other tech that I wanna cover, or if you ever just wanna see my face again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.